Okay, we're going to talk about pivot tables here. And in pivot tables is just another way to uh, organize data. So I've got this data. We've seen this before. We've got the different regions and states, populations for different years. Okay. Uh, and what I want to do is just kind of organize it in a different way using what's called a pivot table. So go in here to insert, and then you can go into pivot table here. You can highlight the data if you want. If you don't, it'll auto select it. That's what we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, the easiest way to do this is go ahead and insert it into a new worksheet, which I will. Again, it's got, it selects the range. It auto selected what my, all my data. Okay. And I can go ahead and pop that in. What it does is it brings up a new window like this. Okay. So you've got these different fields over here. So for example, I can select the region and you can see it lists all the regions over here. Okay. And then for each region, I could uh, say, put in the population. Okay. And what it does here is it sums up the population. Now we wouldn't want to sum that up. Maybe we want to average it instead. I can come down here where it has the values here. And instead of doing the sum, I can alter the the values to different ones, say, for example, average. So this would be the average population of each uh, region um, that I have there. Okay. Um, again, not super useful information. Okay. But the other thing I can do is, for example, I could then break it down a little further and kind of make a um, uh, an outline sort of uh, sub routine or a sub heading here where under Midwest, I have the different states within in them and I can lay out the population, find those average population of of each state, right? So under Midwest, I've got a couple states under Northeast, I've got a few states, right? And I can do that. And you can see that it gives me the average population of the entire region, as well as the average population of each state. So um, you know, that's a different way I can do this. I could also throw the year in if I wanted to. Okay. Now what it did was because it's a number, it says, oh, you must want a value, right? Summing up the year doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that field. Okay. What I'd rather do is say, force that into the rows. So you can see the average population and really there's, it's not average because there's a symbol, but you could do the average population you know, for each year. Okay. Uh, if you don't like the year there, you could say, put the year up in up one region, right? So then you have, you know, say the Midwest, and then you have it broken down by uh, years, I could go all the way to the top, and I could break each region out, you know, here's what's going on in 1970, here's what's going on in 1980, and you can move them around uh, as you would like. Okay, so you could see, say, you know, and I can close these if I just wanted to see the average population of, you know, everything um, for each of the years, I could do that. Okay. Uh, again, you can rearrange things as appropriate, right? So maybe you want the regions on the top, then the years, and you can see how the regions change per year, what have you. The other thing I could do is I could say, move the year over to the columns. And this orients it in a different way where I've still got that broken down with Midwest followed by the states, okay? And then I've got the years going across where I can figure out uh, the years of each, uh, the, I should say, the average population of each year for each region and state, okay? Maybe you don't want the year like that. Maybe you would rather do the regions across the top, okay? So you could do that, right? Uh, this one doesn't make as much sense to me, but again, you can see within each year, you've got the states broken down and then across the top uh, into um, different uh, regions. Again, I don't think that one makes as much sense. Okay, I can bring this down here uh, and put the year. And again, remember the order matters. If I put the state on the top, it's gonna break it down by state and then, and which doesn't make as much sense because um, you know there's several states within a region. Each state only has one region, so you know, you just want to make sure you get things in the appropriate order, okay? Now, uh, I could, in fact, if I want not just the average, say I want also the sum, which again, doesn't make a lot of sense for the data we have, which is to show you how to do things. I can go ahead and add another population here that's the sum. And I could, you know, if I don't want the sum, say I want these 
standard deviation or the max or the min or whatever i could do that but you can see that then for each you know you know state within each region for each year you know i've got both the sum of the population as well as the average population now again you know maybe at this point the sum is more important okay so uh i can remove this field what have you you can play around with things you can do uh, many different things uh, within this, and this might be the, the best way to do it. Again, it just depends on the data you have, and all it's really doing here is reordering the, table, in, the data in such a way that can uh, make it easier to digest, uh, do some um, values where you can find, say, an average or sum of uh, regions and years that would be pretty complicated to do with that column data that we are given uh, initially. So. Really, the best way to do this is kind of play around. This is a tough uh, thing to know exactly, you know, what it's used for until you get that specific um, project that you think to yourself, oh, now I know what to use pivot tables with. So the best thing to do is go around, play with it, and, and see just how powerful a tool like this uh, can be.